Dalish elf here? Come to me, and I'll take you to places you've never been. Isabella? Are you talking to Bianca? I think she deserves to feel a woman's touch on her trigger. You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich? The Templar. He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. childhood home now owned by my child it's not something i could have imagined when i was a little girl staring out this window i'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate i feel like an amel again i'm going to make the name hawk one to be proud of in this city i don't doubt it your father would have said that with that exact look too i just wish we could all be together as a family one more time but I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone, and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. Is that... Isabella? Who carves that into a stairwell?
If you need any enchantments, I can I'm sure. make it. Enchantments! Just so. Sorry, I was expecting treasure, not spiders. Get well soon. Love, Isabella. Why do I let her drag me into these things? Fenris hates that statue. Says it reminds him of the old god relics they had in Tevinter. A hundred and one uses for a phallic tuber. That's Isabella. That's a hundred too many. mother's room. I shouldn't intrude. Handprints? Was someone swinging on the chandelier? Sando. Maker's breath. Put some clothes on her. Alright, so she said to look at the crest sideways, then cover the... Sweet Maker! Here's a better. Ah, oh, I can't unsee that. Everything that's left of my life in Lothar. Crude drawings in the margins. Isabella, blow up. Poor Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. Oh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. Were you listening to...
guy in the hanged man last night. Your eyes are like bumblebees flying into the window of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was your lips are like the wings of sparrows, red ones with no feathers. <laughs> So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You don't like my new house? The house is fine, I suppose. But Lowtown... The smell of tar... ...and the sea... ...and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley... Don't you miss that? You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? I can show you what I have in mind. I should go. That was an interesting diversion. Is that all I am to you? Oh, my wounded heart. <laughs> we were using each other, sweet thing. I was curious about you, and now my curiosity is sated. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? What about love? Love? <laughs> we were ratting. It has nothing to do with love. I'm sorry you feel that way. Why? I'm not. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything, a prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. Your marriage was loveless, and you've never experienced true love. <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again. And I fled. It broke his heart. Destroyed him. I'm sorry it ended that way. He was better off. I saved him a lot of trouble in the long run. How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, no, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No, I... Look, it isn't like that. It's just easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go.
you like the shiny? You've had luck on your travels? <laughs>